welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're seeing my face my name is diva balala and if you are a returning subscriber hey what's up how are you doing hope you're doing well so today i figured we would do something a little bit more cultured so we are going to the nikke art gallery and i figured that i would take you guys with we are going to head out now to the nikke art gallery so come with us yeah should we put your shoes on yeah Okay. So you just snap them, make sure the videos including yourself in it. Okay, not gallery. Okay. Okay, so guys, welcome to the Nikke Art Gallery, uh, which is one of West Africa's largest privately owned collection of traditional and contemporary arts. So the gallery is free to enter, which is amazing. And once we got in, we were given a guide. What did you say your name was again? My name is Casey. Casey, nice to be here. This is Casey, guys. Now, she is actually the curator of the gallery, guys. And she's an artist herself. Um, so she took us around the gallery and showed us all the pieces that they had um, by so many different artists. We saw um, the um, Nike Okundaye, who is the owner of the gallery. We saw some of her paintings. Then we saw some by Abiodun Badejo, um, some by Ayodele Oolabi. Um, there was Dudu Lucky as well. Um, some Tola We Wear, Bolaji Okunwo. I know all these names because while I was editing the videos, I could hear what she was saying. And she introduced us to so many different pieces. There was the pop art. There were pieces like this one where, you know, there were faces in the art. There was this one with the flute. And if you look at the pictures, you can see faces in the art. And that was like his own aesthetic. My eyes are broken. <laughs> My eyes are not broken. Um, and also in the gallery there were pieces that, and fabric pieces that you could buy and then obviously Jasmine was really really into it she asked so many questions and we asked her which piece was her favorite and she picked this one and yeah she said that any piece that had the mom and child was her favorite and then I found out that this lady was an artist and I was like do you have your paintings here and she said yes and I was like you have to show it to me and of course Joshua wanted me to pay for something I didn't buy. He wanted to touch everything. He was running and climbing on everything. After we had the tour of the gallery, then we went over to the tie and dye um, part of the gallery. Well, not part of the gallery. You have to book it all. Tie and dye area. Uh, not like this. Where we have enough people. Okay. Oh, I see. And you get to go home with the piece that you make. But unfortunately, on this day, the class wasn't running. So I ended up signing up for it. Um, and we got to meet the, the um, teacher that teaches you how to do it. And he was just giving me all the information about it. Like I said earlier in the vlog, um, actually, I don't think I mentioned it. They just um, expanded the gallery. So our guide actually took us to the old gallery, which had a gift store. So I ended up buying this pen and um, mm -hmm. and a hat as well. My husband would like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I pick up your glasses? <laughs> Hello? And then she took me into the gallery, which was the old one before they expanded, which was actually really nice. And I saw some clothing pieces that were lovely as well. And we came to the end of the tour. I paid for my items and then we were good to go. The gallery is actually really beautiful. I'm not an art person, but the pieces that are in there like are really, really nice. Like really, really nice. It was nice to experience it. We signed up for like a Thai tie and dye class um because it's not on today which was something i hope we'd be able to do today but it's not on today so you have to sign up for a class we actually just saw um madame nike walk past i love these 
um, Adira doors. They're so cute. I love them. Yeah. Joshua, can you pick up your bag off the floor, please? Okay, so we just got back home. Joshua fell asleep in the car. Jasmine is just chilling, which is good. Um, I ordered some hair stuff for Jasmine and it came when we got in. So I thought I would do an unboxing for you guys um, and show you guys what I, what I got. I've been using these products for Jasmine for since 2020. I stopped using it last year for a bit and big mistake because Jasmine's hair thinned out I decided to start using Share Moisture and all that stuff. Share Moisture and Cantu and the reason I swapped was because I felt like these products were making Jasmine's curls not pop as much. Like whenever I would wash her hair, like her curls wouldn't pop. Like I couldn't see the definition in her hair. So I sw swapped to um, using um, Share Moisture and the curls came back but then her hair kind of like really thinned out like it's not as full as it used to be so i am going back to them so this is adam edith it's a nigerian brand and um i really really like their products their products work so well for jasmine's hair so i went back to it because sometimes yeah you're better off just going to do, sticking to what you know like trying products and all that and all that stuff that's why I'm not a big fan of recommending products because I'm just like it either works for you or it doesn't and you have to try and if something already works for you who am I to come and tell you to try something else do you get what I mean so let me just show you guys what I got this is my receipt I spent 24,500 I paid for delivery though I can't believe they have a receipt now they didn't used to have this before and they didn't have a bag like this before so it's good to see them growing it's amazing so i got four items and i paid 24 pounds 29 24 pounds 24 pounds 24 500 naira so i got i got their moisture for days hair butter so i got that and this is 150 mils and then i got a big one of their leave-in conditioner this is their super softening leave-in conditioner this conditioner is amazing whenever i use it in jasmine's hair it makes it so much easier to comb so i got the big one i was actually gonna get the small one but it wasn't out of stock so i was like you know what let me just order the big one and then i got the hair growth oil which looks like this and then the last thing i got was uh, this is the small one I was supposed to have gotten the big one so this is the super moisturizing deep conditioner which looks like that this is a really really good um, deep conditioner I really love it there are two things that I actually still need to get from them but um, I think I'll get it another day their hydrate and refresh hair spray and um, their damage control protein treatment because I feel like Jasmine needs a protein treatment right now her hair is very like very dry and i feel like it needs the extra protein so yeah so that is everything i got okay. Okay. Oh.
So today is what is today? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Thank you, Jasmine. And Jasmine has her final swimming class. Yay! Every time you go swimming now, you won't you will just go and swim. You won't have a lesson anymore. Yeah, so this is her last one and we're heading out but it looks like it's going to rain. Just ignore her hair. Don't look at her hair. Yes. Don't look at her hair too much, okay? Yeah. Okay, back you go, Jasmine. Go to the back, please, and thank you. Thank you very much. Off you go. Let's go. Do your seatbelt, please. Are we good to go? No, I just we're using a different pool today we're using a different pool because where we usually go to even though i prefer the pool her instructor doesn't work there anymore so um he moved to a different swimming pool so i moved with him because it's still within our area so that's why i'm taking you guys along so you guys can see um a different pool that we've been going to um yeah so let's go 